Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so you guys know that I recently moved into this house. And while I was packing and moving and all that stuff, I found this huge piece of glass sheet. It was originally a part of my hamster's cage. It was like this glass bookshelf from Ikea called Die Tolf. I think. Anyway, so I had like this huge piece of glass sheet and I had to choose to either throw it away or do something with it. Hoarder problems, DIY problems. I like to keep stuff because I always think that I could do something with it. And I didn't want to throw away like a really nice piece of glass. And guys, do you remember my glass art paintings? Here, wait a sec. Ta-da! Remember these glass art paintings? So you basically paint on the back and it looks something like this from the front. I've made about like six of these before. So I was like, why not make a super huge glass art painting? And the design, I had so many options. Like I thought about going completely original. I was like, should I make it anime? Should I make it Disney? And since we're going really big, I actually wanted to make something that I really like and I decided to go with Sailor Moon. I think it's gonna look really, really pretty or a huge fail. These glass art paintings look really easy, but it's actually quite complicated. You can mess up a lot. I've messed up so many times. So going huge is like a super big risk. And it's not gonna be like a normal glass art painting. I wanna put like a little bit of twist and make it like a fake stained glass. So yeah, enough with the talking. Let's just jump right in. A Sailor Moon fake stained glass glass art painting. That was a mouthful. Let's get started. Okay, first off, paper and pencil. Let's draw a rough draft. I'm not gonna like freehand it or anything. I just measured my glass and it was 37 centimeters to 163 centimeters. So it's like really, really long. Something like this. So how should I do this? So sometimes I don't have a specific vision for a project. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna shut up and see what I'm gonna come up with. I think I drew her a little bit too big because I don't want her head to be touching this part. But it's okay, I'm gonna fix it all later. This is literally like my rough rough draft. And it looks something like this. So I just used Ibis paint to make this rough draft. I already finalized the background and I think I'm just gonna use this. And now I'm just gonna go over to Procreate to finalize Sailor Moon. And it looks something like this. I actually really, really like it. It's so cute. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and print it out to the real size. We're going to need a pretty big copy machine for that. So let's go to the convenience store. Okay, so guys, here's the glass sheet and here's the outline. How should I do this? Hmm, um, I mean, obviously I've never done this before. Okay, first off, let's spread it and check out the size. So here's the top part. So this is how it's gonna look like. Okay, it's gonna turn out really pretty if it turns out how I'm imagining it. My only concern is that the picture might be a little bit small, like compared to the glass sheet. There's like 20 centimeters on both sides. And I'm back. I actually changed the image and made it a little bit longer. Let's see if this works. Okay, it's so much better now. Can you guys tell? I made it like 15 centimeters longer. I still have some excess glass, but it just like fits so much better than before. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna tape it onto the glass. Okay, I'm taking my time here because this is like one of the most important parts. I mess this up, the whole image is gonna be crooked. And I think it looks good. Okay, so rough draft, check. And it's time to draw the outline. And as always, I'm going to use some Posca paint pens. Here's some pens in all different sizes. Like this is like a normal size, a thicker pen. Let's see which one works best. Okay, I'm actually really nervous. I really can't mess this part up. So pray for me, guys. I'm gonna try my best. This is gonna take a very long time to finish, guys. So in theory, I should start from the top left corner and then go to the right because I might smudge it if I start from this side. But since it's so big, I think I'm gonna take the risk and just fill in where I feel most comfortable in.
it is the next day. Oh, it's looking so nice. So today I want to do the background and finish the line art and do some coloring. But to be honest, I think it's going to be harder to draw the background than drawing Sailor Moon. Like you need the lines to be like perfect and exact. Hmm. I wonder if I could use this bowl. Okay, not bad. I hope there's like things around in my room where I can use it as like a stencil or like a guideline to make neat crisp lines. Anyways, I'm going to start from the top to bottom. And now I'm going to use a Q-tip and a chopstick to kind of like clean up the lines. Okay, I found the perfect circle. This is like the perfect size, but it's like attached onto this. I think I'm going to take off the screw and hopefully I can put it back. Oh, that is so interesting. I never knew how it looks in the inside and it has like small metal balls. That's how it turns. Anyways, I'm going to use this to draw in the outer line. It's like slightly big, but like good enough. And next, I need another circle. Nope, this is too small. Something that's big enough for this circle. That's a pretty big circle. How about this basket? Nope, it's a little bit too big. How about this basket? It's close. Okay, I think I could use this. This is a random basket I found in my kitchen. At this point, I'm just like using whatever I can find. <laughs> okay, now to freehand these parts. Okay, I looked around, but I couldn't find anything that fits this curve. So I'm just gonna hold my breath and hope that it won't mess up too bad. I think we're done with the outline. Okay, that was long. And it looks something like this. So line art, check. And now onto the fun part. Let's do some coloring. I opened the window right now, so if you hear anything weird, it's probably from the outside. For this project, I want to keep the colors really simple. Okay, let's start off with her skin. And since she's really, really pale, I'm going to mix in some white and make like a completely new color. And hopefully this is enough. Yellow for her hair. Next, some blue. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of black just to kind of like tone it down. Okay, perfect. And next, I need to make like a magenta for her bow and her shoes. This is a little bit too dark. Let me add some bright red. Maybe a little bit of pink. And I'm going to mix it really well. Okay, I think this is perfect. Okay, first I'm going to start off with a little bit of highlight. And I'm going to make sure it's really opaque. And some highlight on her iconic headpiece. I think this is all the highlight I'm going to add. I don't want to make it too complicated. <gasps> I totally forgot one part. She has like these earrings. I'm just going to freehand it. Okay, much better. And now her eyes. And then her earrings. <gasps> no. How should I fix this? Thank God it was like a really tiny space. So this was a quick, easy fix. But I need to be like really careful where to put my hand or I'm gonna like ruin this whole piece. It's okay, it's okay, calm down. It's an easy fix. 
Relax, it's okay. One thing about art, do not panic. I'm gonna bring it closer this time. You know what? This kind of hurts my back. I need to like bend forward. I'm just gonna take my time. No need to hurry. Well, kind of because I need to like upload this video this week. But like art is about patience. Okay, nice and thick. And next, blue for her skirt. Mixing, mixing, and here we go. If this turns out to be a success, I might end up wanting to make more. Like maybe all the Sailor Senshi? What do you guys think? Okay, now I'm gonna go back and pop some bubbles. Bubbles are enemies. They really ruin the piece. So no bubbles. A little bit of yellow here and some white. Again. Oh no, 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 no. And I'm gonna fill in one last part. Her shoes right here. And um, I think I'm good for this round. It's gonna take a few hours for the paint to dry, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's already 10 p.m. right now, and I just don't wanna like rush things. Okay, so guys, see you tomorrow. And it's like day four or something. I forgot. Oh my gosh. Hopefully I could do like most of it. I don't know if I could like finish it today. I mean like I need to wait a few hours between each layer to like dry completely. So I don't know how far I could go today, but I want to be like 80% done. We'll see. Let's start with her face. Oh, I need to make two lines for her collar. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in her sleeves and her gloves. This is a pretty big part, so hopefully I don't mess up. I decided not to put in too many heartbreaking clips, but I actually messed up so many times. For this part, I accidentally smudged her hand, and I noticed that her hand disappeared, so I tried to check it from the front. And when I lifted up the glass, the paint went everywhere. I didn't film this, but I actually wiped off everything and redrew from the outline, and I was actually quite devastated. So I kind of did my best to try to fix it, but I think I kind of like smudged a bit right here. Um, I mean, it's probably not gonna turn out perfect, but I'm okay with that. I mean, it made me really sad at first, but it's not like I'm selling this. It's just an art project. Even if I mess up, I could live. It's so much more important to like enjoy the process. Relax, everything's gonna turn out fine. Okay, so I'm finally done finishing this part in. Here's another pretty big area. Okay, yeah, breathe. I think I'm gonna let it rest for like two hours. And I'm just gonna basically repeat the steps. Next up, yellow, and I'm gonna color her hair. I forgot her right bun. It was like the perfect amount of paint. We're almost done. Well, not really, but we're almost done with Sailor Moon. Again, I'm gonna wait another one to two hours and I'm gonna come back and then fill in her skin. Okay, let's finish Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh, guys, look, I've got paint on my hair. It is currently 10 p.m. right now. So I think I want to start the background a tiny bit and call it a day. So guys, um, I'm actually kind of upset because I've messed up so many times. Like if you see right here, I made some smudge here and there. I had to like literally redraw some parts, repaint, and yeah, I'm just a little bit upset. Hopefully it's not like too bad. I mean, this is just the back part, so it doesn't really affect anything. But yeah, this project was a lot harder than expected. So the background, I want to fill in this circle part. This part, I want to make it kind of like shiny. Let's make some paint. To make this paint extra special, I'm going to mix in some shimmers. Let's make it pearly. Oh, pixie dust. 
and mix it in. Okay, let me add a little bit more pigment. And I think that's enough. And we're just gonna paint like always. Let's see how it looks. <gasps> it's so shiny. I wanna like swim in this shimmery pool. One less area. And I think that's it for today. Good morning guys, and I'm ready to finish it today. I mean, hopefully I can finish it today. Yesterday night, before I went to sleep, I went on my computer and made this vague color image. And this time, I don't wanna make it opaque. I wanna make it kind of sheer to make it like a fake stained glass. A little bit of pink. Okay, that looks really pretty. A little bit of blue and a little bit of purple. So like something like that. By the way, I'm being like completely random right now. But honestly guys, I think this looks so pretty. I mean, some parts didn't go as planned, but still I'm just like really excited. Okay, looking good. And we still have a long way to go. This project is never ending. And I'm gonna fill in these shapes with random colors. I think I like how it looks when I don't mix it in like completely. It has like this marbly effect. Just saying that I'm doing it on purpose. This part was really fun, it's so satisfying. But now I'm gonna let it rest for a bit and I'm gonna come back in like two hours. I actually messed up so many times and this was one of the worst. I accidentally touched it while it was still wet and the paint kinda crinkled up. There was no save. It looked really noticeable from the front, so I had no choice but to clean this part entirely. I had to soak it in acetone for a few minutes and scrub it off, which took a while and it was just emotionally draining. I felt so devastated. By the way, that night, I actually cried and told my partner I may have to scratch this video in project. But then he told me that he wants to see the video. He said that he wants to see a video of me trying my best, and that's what matters the most. So I powered through, and I'm just so glad that I did because I actually really like how it turned out. And guys, I am finally done. It's only been like three hours since I last filled in this part, so this part is still a little bit fragile. I can't really touch it, but it is all dry. So the moment of reveal, and this is how it turned out. Ta-da! <gasps> okay, okay, let's take it outside. And this is how it turned out. 
Oh my gosh, it's actually quite big. It's like my height. I mean, this took a very long time. I messed up so many times. I actually cried a few times. And is it like perfect? No. I see some like smudges here and there like her mouth. But you know what guys? I think I did my best. Like I said in the beginning, it looks really simple and easy. These glass art paintings are actually super hard. I do love my idea and the overall design. I just think like I could have done better. But for now, I'm happy. I also love like the glitters, like the shimmers and stuff. I think these added a nice touch. Tell me if you guys liked it and if you want to see more. If I get over like 30,000 likes, I tend to do it again. So guys, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!